Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and a review to a video I seen by YouTube entitled The World Is Not Ending. Guess what? I'll be on here December 23rd. You'll be watching. You'll still be here because on the 21st of December 22nd, according to the Mayan calendar, that's the end of the world as we know it. So the reality is, is trust me, you don't pack your bags, you're going nowhere, I'm going nowhere. If you think this Mayan calendar thing is just a total joke and a hoax, there's no truth to it. I want you to hit the like button right now. I also want your comments. Now, I come on here, friends, to try and give you some balanced doctrine and information of what the Bible says about the end times. Someone just says, now, dude, you're talking about the... Well, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. Also, many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. The search Rob with one, Rob with two Bs, where I talk about the Bible, Christianity, angels, demons, heaven, hell, eternity, etc. Point I'm trying to make, friends, is the Bible clearly says, read my lips, no man knows the hour except God, you know. So if no man knows the hour, how do the Mayans all of a sudden know the exact day and year? Come on now. We can know this season, and we've got to learn how to interpret the season we're in prophetically, and there's prophecy being fulfilled due to the book of Revelations, the last book in the Bible. If you read it, it'll freak you out to the core. It's a major, major radical book. point I'm trying to make is we are seeing prophecy fulfilled literally in our lifetime more than we ever had. And really, the second coming of Christ, now someone just says, I don't believe in God. I, hey, I can't convince you God's real. No one convinced me. No one can unconvince me. No one talked me into being a Christian. No one could talk me out of it. But here's the whole key to this whole thing. You've got to learn how to be prepared. So if, God forbid, the world comes to an end, or if even if you take your last breath, which is inevitable, we're all going to stand before God. Can you agree with that? That's just called Judgment Day, friends. Now, when you stand before God, either you stand on your own two merits, you say, I was good enough to get to heaven, or you humble yourself and say, the only way I realized was to accept what Christ did on the cross. Because the Bible clearly says, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, that God raised Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. And be saved from what you may ask. Eternal separation from God. Because you, when you take your last breath, either the elevator goes up to life insurance or it goes down to the basement, which is fire insurance. We're all born separated from God due to original sin. And no one goes to hell because of their sin. They go because of their original sin. If you want your sin that paid, say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, friends, I'm coming on here December 23rd, the day after the world's supposed to end. I'll be here. You'll be here. This Mayan things are told. There's been so much other predictions like this over the... The only way to really bank the truth and to really have your heart set on what will happen is to know the Bible, the Word of God. Hey, if you own a Bible, man, it's got dust on it, blow the dust off it, start to read the book, friends, develop a prayer life, get in a good Bible-based Christian and preaching, teaching church. Hey, come on, man, you know the scripture. The book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus, that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not... It, you'd not perish, you'd have eternal life. How long is eternal life? It's eternity, it's without end. We're spiritually created beings. When you take your last breath, again, man, either there's life insurance or fire insurance, and eternity is not a billion years or a billion times a billion years, it's without end, friends, because we're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. We will live forever. Hey, again, Rob here, Rob Wood Ministries. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. Also, I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos via YouTube. Just search Rob Wood 1, Rob Wood 2 Bs. Again, if you think this end of the world, my encounter things are total hoax. It's no truth to it. Hit the like button. Give me your comments. God bless your friends in Jesus' name.